one. So today I'm going to show you how to use your Kenwood D74 with a DVAP. And you're saying, what is a DVAP? Well, first a little disclaimer. My little red DVAP is taped to my com computer screen in the background. Please people, don't use that permanently on the screen of your computer. But just for t video purposes today, I've got it in the frame so you can see what's going on. First thing you want to do is verify that your DVAP is working correctly. I'm not going to tell you how to install all the drivers and all that. It's very, very easy. Uh, just go to the DVAP uh, user su support group on Yahoo and also go to the DVAP website and uh, here are the uh, links uh, below. But anyway, uh, just verify that uh, it's working. Now it's not working. I unplugged it, plug it back in, kind of boots up. And I'm just going to go to on the computer here and just check the properties, make sure that it's working uh, at the right COM port. So it is a uh, USB serial port and it's on COM5. Now your COM ports are, may be different than mine, but uh, you just want to make sure that your COM ports uh, see the uh, DV, uh, DVAP, excuse me, DVAP, I was getting, uh, that light was getting to me here. Anyway, but uh, DVAP stands for uh, Digital Voice Access Point, and it's a dongle. It's basically a little transceiver, low power transceiver that's frequency agile. You could program it for uh, simplex frequencies. Uh, there's a two meter version, a 440 version, and now when the Kenwood out, we are hoping that a 220 version will be coming out. But anyway, I'm just verifying that it is connected. If I do unplug it from the serial port, uh, it disappears and it comes back on. So I just want to make sure that it is connected. So, first thing you do is get these win windows closed. Is I got my little icon right here. I'll just kind of bring it up so we can see it. That's my DV, DV, uh, DVAP um, uh, startup icon. So it's booting up. Remember, I said COM5 that we want that COM, whatever your COM port is that the serial uh, USB is connected to or the uh, DVAP is connected to, uh, that you want to make sure that it's in here. Uh, here's where you can change the frequency. You can put in a call sign here. And once you connect open, it, it um, boots up and it says you're running uh, the correct version of the DVAP tool. Okay, so now we'll close that out. Uh, notice we do have uh, uh, a little light flashing there and it's just waiting to get a transmission. So what I want to do is I want to take my let me tell you about the, the uh, D74 here. Let it zoom in, get in focus, get in focus for me. There you go. Kind of hard to do this when you're a one-man show. But anyway, I have programmed, I have programmed uh, different um, settings in, in my memory channels. So what we have is we have uh, CQ, CQ. So once you are linked to a reflector or a gateway, you can make a conversation using CQ, CQ. This is the unlink uh, command. And notice the frequency doesn't change. That's because we're just transmitting to the uh, DVAP when we release the microphone or the uh, push to talk. The uh, DVAP uh, sends the information. Uh, echo, echo, you can just do a quick test here. Let's see if I can get that. W6 GPS. And basically what that does is you can just test to make sure things are sounding good, audio levels correct. So the first thing you want to do is link yourself to a reflector. And I'm going to link myself to reflector 30 Charlie. Give it a key, give it a call, W6 GPS linking. System linked. And uh, DVAP echoes back that I'm linked. And now I'm going to go to CQ, CQ. 
And he's stationed on uh, 30 Charlie. This is W6 GPS for a quick uh, QSO on videotape. Well, hello, uh, W6 GPS, CD copy, KJ4VO. We'll help you out. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Mark. Um, uh, I got the camera rolling right on the uh, right on the radio, so um, audio may be just a little low because I'm I'm a couple inches from the microphone. Anyway, I'm uh, just shooting a little demo here on the DVAP. I like the idea of the DVAP because if if I don't have a D star repeater, at least I can still talk to my friends around the world. Uh, any comments about the DVAP? Uh, KJ four VO um, W six GPS Chattanooga. You don't have to sell me on the VVAP. I use them. I think I got five of them. I keep two in the car, two in the shack. I just and maybe two in the. If a tool robin came out with it years ago, and uh, like where I'm at, I took the Z Strong repeater off here, so I have no. There's one about 18 miles in the road, but it's okay. So I, I'm on the VVAP as well. So I, I run it mobile with the iPhone internet and shoot at the house, and works out quite well. Uh, back to you. Okay, real fine. Um, just a quick, uh, any other check-ins here on 30 Charlie, just for, just a, just do a quick uh, call sign where you're located, and uh, let me just capture this on video. This is W6 GPS Chattanooga. Okay, real fine. Thanks for the check-ins, and uh, I'm just demonstrating uh, DVAP and the uh, Kenwood uh, D74. I appreciate uh, you all coming in, uh, but uh, not just stateside stations. Uh, with a DVAP and a D-Star radio, uh, you can make uh, contacts around the world. Uh, Mark, just give me a give me about 15 seconds on uh, on why a person should uh, get a D-Star radio if you can do that. KJ4VO W6 GPS Chattanooga. Well, Don, just as you said, it's so simple. My HF has been pretty well ceased at the house with lots of line noise. I do run HF in the mobile, but the DVAP, the D-Star just works. It's a great way to keep up with the, the ham community around the world. i got buddies in Japan and the UK and all over the States. It's been a blast. I guess I've been doing it for about 11 years now, so won't give up on it. I play with Yezu wires and a little bit of DMR, but D-Star just works so good, so... Uh, yeah, I would recommend a, especially the DVAP, that makes life so easy with a little Raspberry Pi or a Windbook or a little netbook or whatever it takes. So, Don, you sounded good. Your audio's good, by the way, uh, if you're not that close to the mic. And all my Kenwood 74 sounds good. So, back to you, Don. KJ 4 bo North Georgia. Okay, Mark, real fine. Thanks for coming in, and uh, other stations, thanks for coming in. I'm just I'm just shooting a, a little video just to show that you can uh, have a fun on D-Star with a, a D-Star radio, uh, DVAP, and internet net connection. So uh, I'll just take a quick standby for any other comments. This is W6GPS in Chattanooga. All right, folks, thanks for uh, coming on and helping me out here. Uh, this is W6 GPS. Mark, I'll sign off with you. I know you're uh, off today and kind of playing around. Liked your little video uh, with your uh, 
car that was very nice. So I'll say 73s to you, and thanks for everybody on 30, Charlie. Let me uh, just hop in here. It's a W6 GPS. Have a great Thursday, and Juliet, India, D-Star has been very effective. Uh, I watched it work firsthand last Friday during the arrival of Hurricane Hermine in the Tallahassee capital region. Uh, D-Star really proved its worth over there. Over. Okay, real fine. Thanks for that comment. And uh, I'm going to uh, unlink here and go to another reflector, but thanks, folks, for coming on board. W6GPS Chattanooga. Now then, next thing you do, change your uh, presets. These are all in memory channel, by the way. And you can go to unlink, make a key, W6 GPS. And it, says, and it echoes back that it's unlinked. You can always check it by going to info and keying it up. So that's, that's basically a quick little demonstration of a Kenwood D74 and uh, the DVAP, Digital Voice Access Point. Now the, the, main thing, the main thing to understand is in your memory channels, and I'll show you with the uh, programming software, that uh, you need to get, kind of set them up in a hierarchy so you understand that you're going to go to a reflector, uh, that's going to Act, that's going to link you to a reflector. It echoes back that it's uh, linked. You can also go back and unlink it. Now it's not unlinking it from the repeater, but it's unlinking your computer that's on the internet. It's going to unlink that so that you can go to another, um, another reflector or another uh, gateway. All right, so let's talk about uh, memory programming. So these are the different names I used, uh, DVAP CQ. Anytime you can, want your link to a uh, reflector or a gateway, uh, you could use this to make your voice contact, uh, DVAP unlink. And I'm using uh, 435, 500 is my frequency. And what mode is uh, DV for direct. Uh, DR, here's my Chattanooga repeaters, and uh, here's my um, uh, UR call, CQ, CQ, so I'm calling out on a W4PL repeater. There's two of them here. So one's a B channel, one's a C channel. So here's the name, the, the alphanumeric name you can give. That's really just for reference, the frequency what mode. Um, you can group them if you want. If you have a lot of reflectors, you can kind of group everything together. And here's your UR, UR uh, calls. Now, uh, it is important here that if you're on Reflector Charlie, it's REF030 Charlie, and that's the link. That's a link command. So when the system sees that L, it links the, your DVAP through the internet to 30 Charlie. And there's repeat one and repeat two because it's a, not a repeater. Each of those are direct, which means it's simplex back and forth. Uh, down here on the Chattanooga repeater, uh, W4PL, I'm going in on the C channel. I'm going in on C and coming out on the gateway. So, and there's, I got my names right here, and I got my frequencies. Um, I can add more views to this uh, programming software, but this is just the logist. The main thing is understand that you, uh, for, you have to have a, uh, a uh, unlink, an echo, a info, and then the reflectors. You got to program the reflector uh, access uh, with a correct sequence. REF 030 CL.
So go to the uh, DVAP support group on Yahoo. Go to DVAP on the internet. Uh, Robin's a great support person. Uh, most of all, go and get your Kenwood D74. They're a great radio. Um, I've always been a little shy of D-Star. Uh, I tried several D-Star radios several years ago, and it was just too, too, uh, too much to get, uh, to get on the air. But now uh, things are a whole lot, the radios are a lot more simpler to work on. But you can't have D-Star without a D-Star repeater by using a DVAP and a D-Star radio.